everybody. My name is Nicole, and I'm the Director of Corporate Development at ECHO. ECHO is an essay-based startup that is bringing the stethoscope into the digital age. Heart disease is the number one cause of death worldwide. Yet despite the prevalence of disease, the leading cardiac tool that's used to screen disease when a patient first comes into the office, the stethoscope, hasn't changed much in the past 200 years. So it was no surprise to us when we asked clinicians what was the one medical tool that they felt was most in need of innovation? And of course, they said the stethoscope. One of the reasons that they felt it was most in need of innovation is because analyzing heart and lung sounds requires a fine-tuned ear. In fact, 80% of primary care physicians cannot accurately diagnose common heart conditions using a stethoscope. There was no mechanism for them to objectively document and share what was being heard. This problem is magnified when viewed under the lens of the global health crisis where in rural communities, the stethoscope is often one of the only tools that they have to help triage patients, and at the same time, the cardiac centers that are located worldwide are very dispersed. So we created a digital solution to this problem. Our stethoscope is called the Echo Digital Stethoscope, and it streams sounds from the stethoscope itself via Bluetooth to a patient's, to a provider's uh, smartphone. From there, the sounds, once they've been digitized, can be saved, recorded, and shared with physicians and clinicians located down the road or across the world. We were able to put this use case to test when we partnered with IBM to bring our stethoscope solution to Haiti. There, a six-year-old girl presented with a swollen left leg. The nurse practitioner suspected that she might have a cardiac disease, so using our device, she recorded the heart sounds and sent them to a US-based cardiologist who was on a cruise at the time. Using a smartphone, the cardiologist was able to listen to the sounds that were recorded using our device, and in a matter of minutes was able to communicate back with the healthcare team in Haiti and let them know that the girl needed immediate cardiac surgery. This is an example of our technology being used in a telehealth market. The market for telemedicine technologies is expected to grow, and by 2020 is expected to be worth $49.4 billion. We have seen great traction to date, and our stethoscope has been, is currently being used by clinicians in over 400 healthcare systems. We have also managed to accumulate the greatest database of heart sounds worldwide. Our team is comprised of graduates of Stanford and Berkeley, and the next steps for us, along with our advisors, which are at the leading institutions across the world, is to take this database of recorded heart sounds and to apply algorithms to this database so that from here on out, clinicians will be able to use their smartphones in collaboration with our stethoscopes to be able to diagnose heart conditions at the point of care in real time using their smartphones. Thank you. Okay, good. So I know that I saw online that the device costs $199. Uh, how does that compare to uh, normal stethoscopes? And uh, what are the, I mean, I guess I'm curious to hear a bit more about the market in terms of how, how many of these things get sold in a year. Yeah, so the market, the one thing that's great about stethoscopes is that every clinician around the world uses a stethoscope. They range in price, so I have a lot of them that are at the very low end, and then you have a lot of them that are very high end. So a regular analog stethoscope can retail upwards of 20 of 200 to $250. So digital stethoscopes, which used to be on the market and are still on the market today, they go for about $400. So one thing that's different about our software is that we created an attachment to an analog stethoscope. And so it's a little um, device that's about the size of this, and it clips on to a traditional analog stethoscope and allows clinicians to, from there, digitize the sounds. So it takes an old stethoscope and brings it into sort of the digitized age without forcing clinicians to go out and buy a whole new stethoscope or invest in more expensive. Great presentation. The, uh, the logical extension of this seems to be sort of, sort of machine learning algorithm that can actually tell you what the, what the heart's doing, like do the diagnosis without the physician's input. Where would you see that in the product roadmap and is that something you're ambitious about or looking to partner with? Yeah, no, absolutely. So I think the first step for us was without a doubt taking the stethoscope and being able to sort of accumulate this database of heart sounds. So now that we have got the greatest heart sound database in the world, we're able to take those heart sounds and apply the machine learning algorithms against them to be able to then, when a physician records a heart sound, they're able to look at it on their phone and apply these algorithms and say, 
this heart sound best matches these sets of conditions or have characteristics indicative of these sets of diseases that will help them better be able to make better decisions at the point of care as opposed to the model right now where it's usually a store forward or a telemedicine where you're streaming heart sounds to a clinician that's located remotely. You mentioned telemedicine and I think that's a, that's a huge movement right now. Is there any concept, you also mentioned that a lot of the stethoscope, stethoscope, stethoscope technology out there today is old technology. Um, is there any concept in using something that doesn't really require a stethoscope once you have the machine learning? Because uh, I think of telemedicine and I think the next, the next big step in tele telemedicine is doing it from people's homes with video and remotely rather than having to ship them a stethoscope is the concept to be able to use maybe the, the data that you've got to detect or communicate with some other device? Or does it always have to be a stethoscope? Um, so it doesn't always have to be a stethoscope. Definitely the way that we're moving is to sort of work with other personal devices that are out there. I think that we'll always need hardware, maybe not in the form factor of a stethoscope, something that's more user friendly that can be put in the hands of patients to be able to have them put it up against their heart and be able to track data and use these algorithms to send back to the doctors that are located um, in the hospital to be able to provide feedback on their health. Nicole, thank you so much.